Hey guys, and welcome to the Best Options channel. In this video, we've decided to review the best 5x570 motherboards for Ryzen, available on the market today. We made the list of this top 5x570 motherboards, based on our personal opinion, research, price and customers' reviews. If you'd like to see their price, and find out more information about products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description box below. So, here are the top 5, best x570 motherboards for Ryzen. The fifth product on our list, is Gigabyte X570 Aorus Master. First important feature is that X570 Aorus Master, is equipped with Smart Fan 5, that can ensure, that your gaming PC is staying cool and maintaining its performances on the same time. It has more hybrid fan headers, that support PMW and voltage mode fans. It has an Intel Wi-Fi 6, which can get a high performance and efficient network. The Aorus antenna, which has multiple angle tilt and a magnetic base, supports dual band with better Wi-Fi signal. The user has complete control to the LEDs that surround the motherboard, and more LED customization options, because it has a redesigned RGB Fusion 2.0 application, and full RGD support. Aorus motherboards will support 5V addressable LED lighting strips and up to 300 LED lights. This provide a full PCIe 4.0 design, with PCIe 4.0 slots, PCIe 4.0 M.2 connectors, PCIe 4.0 B block tuning IC, that help to increase to the best performances from PC peripherals. For having the maximum potential on third generation AMD processors, the X470 Aorus Master, has the latest generation Infineon multi-phase PMW controller, and 14 phases for V-Core and SOC. To create a durable design and easy installation, the unit has an integrated base plate and an I.O. shield, making with Gigabyte an ultra-durable PC. So, its pros are Support the latest generation of AMD processors. For wealth of storage install up to 3 M.2 SSDs and up to 6 SATA HDDs or SSDs. Has built-in Wi-Fi. However, its cons are Has only one PCIe X16 slot, just for one video card. This Gigabyte board has quality all over it, from its metal backplate, to the raised pin guides, to the number of fan connections, just to start. The software that comes with this motherboard is awesome, has a lot of thing to play around with. Up next in the fourth place, is Asus ROG X570 Crosshair 8 Hero. The Asus ROG Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi, is packed with some good features. It has 12 USB ports, 8 of which are USB 3.2, 2 speeds. A 2.5G LAN port, 8 SATA ports, and integrated Wi-Fi 6, it's a good base for a high-end build. The ROG Crosshair 8 Hero, supports both series of processors Ryzen 2000 and Ryzen 3000. It includes 8 SATA ports and 4 DIMM slots, the latter capable of supporting up to 128GB of DDR4 RAM. The AMD X570 chipset delivers outstanding overclocking capabilities for the latest AMD AM4 socket, for 3rd, 2nd and 1st generation AMD Ryzen, with Radeon Vega graphics processors. It is optimized for multiple GPU configurations, including NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire X. It also supports X16 PCI Express, 4.0, 3.0 lanes and provides 10 gigabits per second USB 3.2 2 ports, and 6 gigabits per second SATA ports, for faster data retrieval. ROG provides a range of intuitive software, that enables easy control of your advanced gaming hardware, and ensures seamless component compatibility. From RGB lighting, networking and audio to storage optimization and more, ROG gives you the power to personalize your system just the way you want. ROG has a good power loading, that will not compromise the safety of the system. The BIOS loading button at the back don't need a physical CPU, you will have a reset BIOS button, just right at the back, if the settings are screwed, with AMD, you will need that. The cable length for the Wi-Fi Bluetooth, is too short, and the PCI-16 holding clip design in the motherboard is a handicap, because you'll have issues, taking out GFX card. So, its pros are. The layout design and build quality are excellent. It supports DDR4 RAM with frequency speeds of 4600 MHz and faster. It comes with an incredible number of USB ports, and most of them are fast USB 3.1 Gen 2. However, its cons are Premium price The motherboard has a small fan on its chipset. ROG Crosshair 8 Hero comes equipped with an optimized power design layout, and all the cooling headers you need, 
to handle the power of the latest AMD Ryzen processors. The third product on our list is, MSI MEG X570 Unify. This motherboard supports, the second and then the third generation, of AMD Ryzen or Ryzen, with Radeon Vega graphics, and second generation AMD Ryzen, with Radeon graphics desktop processors, for AM4 socket, and supports DDR4 memory, up to 5000, and more megahertz. The packaging for the MSI MEG X570 Unify is basic. Inside the box, you will find the following items, user guide, product registration card, product catalog, driver disc, SATA cables labels, 4X SATA cables, Wi-Fi antenna, MSI case badge, cloth cable bag, RGB extension splitter, addressable RGB cable, and one Corsair RGB LED cable. The MSI MEG X570 Unify utilizes AMD's X570 chipset and supports all AM4 compatible CPUs. It comes with a 13 plus 1 phased PWM with titanium choke 2 caps and DRMOS MOSFET control in order to deliver a rock-solid power delivery to the CPU, both at stock frequencies as well as in high-performance configurations. On the MSI MEG X570 Unify, we of course find Realtex ALC1220 audio codec combined with a 600 ohm amplifier as part of MSI's Audio Boost HD sound system. The audio channels are isolated on their own PCB in order to eliminate electrical interference from the other components of the motherboard. It has an aluminum cover with extended heatsink. All metal extended heatsink cover enlarges the surface of heat dissipation, ensures even high-end processors to run in full speed. Its pros are Nice design PCIe General 4.0 provides lots of bandwidth. Nice onboard components. However, its cons are The price not so good for some buyers. The second product on our list is the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Extreme. The Gigabyte X570 Aorus Extreme is more expensive than motherboards presented above, but it's by far one of the most feature-packed motherboards. We could spend more time on this review before we got through it all. The VRM is in a 14 plus 2 phase configuration, and it's a true 14 phase that doesn't utilize doublers. The new Infineon Digital PWM controller supports up to 16 true phases, 14 plus 2. Gigabyte states they gain 4% efficiency using this method. Both the CPU VCC and SOAP VRMs use Infineon's TDA21472, which is a 70A integrated power stage, and uses Infineon's latest technologies. The VRM in front of us here today might be one of the best we have ever seen, and with the heat sink and improvements in PCB copper, Gigabyte really hit it out of the park. Software includes App Center, BIOS, Auto Green, Cloud Station, Easy Tune, Fast Boot, Game Boost, RGB Fusion, Smart Backup, Smart Keyboard, Smart Survey, System Information Viewer, USB Blocker, and USB Turbocharger. The UEFI BIOS has been revamped in regards to layout and organization. It's much easier to access all the settings you need, on fewer pages compared to Gigabyte's previous UEFIs. Fan control is present in GUI form, although you get more settings if you use Gigabyte's software applications. Overclocking settings are all present, and so are all system settings. You can also access AMD's internal menus as well in case you can't find what you are looking for in the general UEFI. This model is the ultimate solution for the most demanding gamers. The new Gigabyte X570 Aorus Extreme AM4 motherboard was created to be used with the AMD Ryzen architecture, designed with DDR4 memory and SmartFan 5 technology, which allows you to have a stable and cool gaming PC. It also has various technologies, such as advanced thermal design. In addition, it has high-quality audio capacitors. It also has an updated BIOS so you can enjoy optimal settings. So, its pros are Best-in-class VRM 10G LAN and networking. No chipset fan. However, the cons are extremely expensive. Awkward 6 pin PCIe connector location. With the new Gigabyte X570 Aorus Extreme AM4 motherboard, you can do everything you set out to do. You can find it at Power Planet Online. Before presenting our top product from our list today, be sure to check out the description below for the best options on each of these items. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and best products on the market. Finally, our top no-touch thermometer, is the ROG Strix X570 eGaming. The ROG Strix X570 eGaming motherboard, delivers the quintessential ROG experience, with a compelling mix of features, an undeniable style, 
that provide the ideal foundation for building a powerful ATX gaming system. Next generation wireless networking delivers the smoothest online gameplay and a comprehensive cooling options ensure stable performance. Topped off with futuristic styling with onboard illumination, ROG Strix X570E Gaming equips you with all you need to build a formidable weapon to rise above the rest. With comprehensive cooling options and upgraded power delivery to fuel Ryzen CPUs with more cores, plus faster storage and networking, ROG Strix X570E Gaming provides all the essentials you need to harness the full potential of components in your build for top-tier gaming performance. Ready for 2nd and 3rd Gen AMD Ryzen processors to maximize connectivity and speed with up to 2 M.2 drives, USB 3.2 Gen 2 and AMD Storming. Asus exclusive Aura Sync RGB lighting, including RGB headers and addressable Gen 2 GRB headers. It has an optimal power solution, 12 plus 4 power stages with Pro Cool 2 power connector, alloy chokes and durable capacitors to support multi-core processors. It supports PCIe 4.0, HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.2, and features dual M.2 and USB 3.2 Type-A and Type-C connectors. For gaming networking it has a 2.5 gigabits per second LAN and Intel Gigabit Ethernet with Asus Langard. Wi-Fi 6 with MU MIMO that offers higher network efficiency, faster Wi-Fi speeds, greater coverage, and improved battery life for connected devices. Its pros are 2.5 gigabits Ethernet. Wi-Fi and BIOS flashback is always a huge plus. Decent chipset cooling solution. Good RGB lighting on board. However, the cons are only two M.2 connectors, competitors offer three. Awkward LLC settings, make voltage inaccuracies common. No onboard buttons or voltage monitoring points. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If we helped you out with our top, please hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next videos.